Hey cuties, hello. I decided to do Hey cuties. So I decided to do a spend the weekend with me because I'm alone. I don't have any other friends. So um, yeah, so I'm just trying to think of stuff to do. I just went for a drive to get some nice paper rolls from my favorite bakery. Oh, they're so good. And this sauce, Ratatouille would be creaming in his pants if he ate that. Ah. Yes. Pause. <laughs> but I bring you guys along for the journey. So right now, I'm going to eat my nice paper rolls. And then I gave myself a little sweet treat. It's fucking good too. And then I just got myself a mango tea to drink. So I'm gonna eat that. I'll be back. I'll see you guys soon. So I just enjoyed my brunch because I didn't have breakfast, but it's too close to lunch to count that as a breakfast. So now I don't know what to do with myself. I normally have my boyfriend here to like be like oh i want to do something and then he can be like oh what do you want to do and then i'll be like i don't know and then we go back and forth for about 30 minutes and then he'll finally one of us he's like oh why don't we do this and then it's like no and it's like what about this and then it's like mm, we have nothing else today let's go do this i'm thinking of doing fake nails this is the brand that i use it's literally it was like five dollars from cable these are the little like the stiletto they're so Cute. Can I see my little DIY draw? A little draw. It's like, you can see anything. But it's all my stuff that I use to DIY. So I'm a DIY girly. I do my own lashes, eyebrows, nails, tan, everything. Everything. Now, I actually have like a couple sets to pick from. I really like these ones as well, but I think I want to wear those other ones. I wore them to a concert last week, but I didn't put them on. Like, I didn't really take the time to prep it properly, so I just pulled them all off. It's like no damage and stuff to them, so I'm gonna just reapply them. And I'm just seeing if this one has a nail file, so I can like kind of buff my nails in the fake ones so they like have something better to stick to. I also love these ones because they're very like universal. I normally trim them a little bit to make them look a little bit more natural, but they are so cute. Plus, they're eco, eco conscious, so it's made from recycled plastics. So I actually love these, but I feel like I wear them too much. So, <laughs> ta da! <laughs> oh, excuse, excuse, excuse. <laughs> so I literally have the next two days to myself. And I literally don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do. I was thinking about going to the movies this afternoon. I'm really scared to go by myself because I don't know if it's like weird to go by yourself. You know when you're in a restaurant by yourself it's kind of like oh like what if people judge me because they're with their friends and stuff but I don't know you're eating. It's normal to see people eating by themselves but like the movies it's like oh god get some friends. Because I really want to watch the new Hunger Games movie. Because it looks really good. And I've been seeing the trailer for ages. And I'm starting to get like spoilers on my TikTok. So I don't want it to like ruin it before I even get to see it. Because the same thing happened to me with the new Avatar movie. My partner and I were at Red Rooster. And we were eating. And we were literally one week away from watching it. We booked it for the week after. Because we were going away. And we wanted to go to a different cinema. So we were planning on watching it then. And we were seven days seven fucking days went this whole time no spoilers nothing we're sitting in red rooster eating we literally just had a kid sit behind us and be like i can't believe his brother died and we're like the fuck i was like surely not and then all i hear is blah blah blah, blah avatar blah, blah 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 yeah his brother died blah 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 it was so sad blah blah, blah. and i was like we have to leave i literally like Hug my ears, but like, oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> so, okay, so now I'm going to prep my nails. I don't know what the difference in the sides are. I don't even know if there is a difference. But, mm, the pink side. So, coming off in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have. 
have like people I can go with. I don't know. I just like the idea of being able to just go and then come straight home and not have to worry about like going to do anything else. Very antisocial these days. I just don't want to do anything at all. I don't want to go to work. I'm a full time girly. And if you couldn't tell by the eye bags, yeah, very exhausting. The 20 year old. So. Literally, I don't like being full time. I love my job. I love my job. I love the people I work with and stuff. It just full time is so exhausting when you're young. Like, I literally want to travel, do all this stuff. I like my paycheck. Like, my paycheck looks really good. But when I don't have the time to do anything, that's when I start to spend all my money on like temporary things to do. Like, I go shopping or, you know. So, and because like where I live, there's like literally nothing to do. I'm literally, do I'm just wasting money at this point, <laughs> but there's nothing else to do. I don't want to wait six months to save up to go away for two weeks. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Because I also want to buy a van. I want to live in a van. I feel like that would be so cute. Not having to pay rent. I can literally go wherever I want to go as soon as I wake up. You know, I just travel Australia for a couple of years and I'm studying at the moment. It won't be, it's not like I'm going to be doing nothing. Like I will be studying and stuff. Should I do my makeup after this? <laughs> I might do my makeup, feel pretty, and then I can go to the movies, act like I'm meeting someone there. And then when no one shows up, no one's gonna know because it's fucking dark. I'm so smart. I'm so fucking smart. Yeah, I just get like the little, get that inner bit where my nail bed will sit. Then it's like roughed up there, roughed up on my nail. So the glue, has something to like compact itself to. And people thought I was stupid because they dropped out of school. I'm not that fucking stupid. But I also don't know if I want to wait to watch the movie with my boyfriend as well. Because he also likes Hunger Games and we just always go to the movies together. But no, I just really want to watch it. I'm gonna file the inner bit of all my nails, watch a couple of YouTube videos, and I'll be back. Did my nails? They are actually so cute. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing my makeup. I don't wanna like sweat it all off straight away. It's literally only been like an hour since my boyfriend left and I'm already so fucking bored. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do my makeup. What look should we do? Should we go glam, just casual? I'm just trying to kill time at this point. This is my priming and setting drawer. This is so fucking good. With this and this and that. Oh, I just love it all. I love it all. I love it all. I am an elf girl. The elf flawless face primer. You girl. Huge fucking pores. Be able to go swimming in them. I'm just gonna apply like little bits to my primer. It definitely like feels kind of funny when you first put it on, but it works wonders. Oh shit. How are we looking? Still swimmable, but better. I'm gonna put my hair up and clip it. So just got really sweaty balls. Nothing else. Put the fan on. It's better. I might go get myself a drink of water. Okay, chat, I'm back. Oh. <laughs> oh. So the show time is 6 15 pm and it is currently 12 pm. So I have like six hours. Might get a coffee. Might go get a coffee. Just something to do. This is it in for the lighting. I really need a coffee, but I also really need a shit. So, lose loose right now. Okay, let's make a coffee.
Hedges was successful. So now I just wait till 6 p.m. So now I'm just going to drink my coffee. Kind of tastes like Bailey's. The alcoholic beverage. Because I'm 20 and I live in Australia, so it's legal. It's very legal. I definitely prefer vanilla, but all I have is caramel at the moment and I'm not bothered to buy more. Anyway, I'm gonna go watch TikToks. Maybe make a couple. Anyway, yeah, check back in five. Okay, bye. Hey. So it is currently like 4 p.m. I don't know. The last time you see me, I just finished doing my makeup and I made myself a copy. And then I laid in bed for four hours. Um, I am going to the movies at, I think it's 6.15. I like when you guys are up here. I don't know what it is, you just, I think I'm insecure when you close up. You go. First candle I made. That one. This one's just chai latte. Can you smell? Oh shit, I just blew something in my eye. Okay. So, I'm just about to go to the movies now. It's like 5, 5.50 I think. Give myself a little jump rope. Oh, it is hot in my car. Turn the AC. Oh. Much like the ones you're seeing now. Okay, so I just got out of the movie. It was actually so fucking good. I, I didn't even want to be there at first because I got there really late because I really had to go to the toilet. So I stopped in at like a servo to go to the toilet. Sorry, my car yells at me. Whatever yeah, I didn't even want to fucking be there because I got there late. Um, so I had like shit spots left to pick from to fucking sit at. So it was like three rows from the front. So I was kind of on a weird angle and I hated it. But I was gonna deal with it. It was my own fucking fault. I'm like the fucking lady behind me would not stop coughing. Like every time she coughed, the entire time I thought she was coughing on me. She probably wasn't. Okay. People sit next to me! And I'm like fucking squished up against a wall. So I started feeling claustrophobic. I was by myself, I was already anxious. The girl behind me was coughing, I could hear people chewing. And I think it was just like a sensory overload, but first world problems. But then like the movie started, it was actually so fucking good. It's really good. I definitely recommend it if you wanna watch it. There's a lot of foreshadowing for the other Hunger Games, like the Hunger Games movie. So I think that's really fucking cool. At first, it's like, oh, Snow was a victim. And then you get to the end and you're like, oh, no, he definitely deserved his final fate. I don't know if I want the down. There's literally only Maccas and Hungry Jacks left open. I might have to call my mom. Terrifying, but I do still in fact live with my mom. So. Let's see if she called anything. She did for dinner. We went to run for Ark. Just give me a sec. Oh, I'm actually really scared right now. Like, this is a dark. Good movie. Definitely recommend it. Lots of foreshadowing. Perfect. Perfect way to just, like, really help you understand, like, the Hunger Games movies. And I really want to read the book now. Yeah, more details, obviously. I don't even remember what I was going to say now. Good movie. Oh, and at the end, <laughs> I kept thinking I was going to vomit. I was sitting there trying not to either shit my pants or fucking vomit everywhere and embarrass myself. I was already by myself. I was like, I'm not embarrassing myself right now. So, I was trying not to vomit for the last, like, 30 minutes. I would, like, sit there and I'd get a wave of, like, I'm going to projectile vomit. And then it would go away. And I'd forget about it. And then it will come back. I, I think the only reason I didn't vomit was because I didn't want to get embarrassed. I didn't want to embarrass myself like that. So, yeah, now I'm trying to decide what I want to do for dinner. So I'm going to call my mum and I'll be right back. Um, I'm getting Macca's for dinner. But I just ordered that on the app so I can get the points. I forgot that it's a Saturday night and there's going to be drugs and druggies on the road. Double D. I was, <laughs> I was fully just making noise at other people out there. And anyway, 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 um, I have to keep deleting apps because I'm running out of storage on my phone. I don't have anyone else to like upload these clips from for my newsletter, so I don't know what to do. There's also a phone card behind me sitting on my pocket. It is 
currently 30 degrees outside. I fully just almost fucking ripped the bag when I grabbed it. And I'm pretty sure I just spilled my fucking drinks. Oh, God. What is going on? Okay, I sorted it all out. I just seen fucking kids on the side of the road. Saturday night, 9.20 p.m. Come get your fucking kids and put them inside. This is so funny because I used to be a kid who was out on the town at 9.20 p.m. on a Saturday night. So... I don't know why I'm being such a hater. I got my dinner. Now I'm gonna eat and watch some YouTube and I might talk to you later, might not. I don't know. Okay, bye.